Play Pals, what's good? Listen, I just dropped by to talk to y'all for a minute. And if you get a chance, y'all go on over there on YouTube and subscribe to my channel now. Y'all know y'all be listening to what I got to say. Get on over there and subscribe to the channel. But listen, I ain't going to hold y'all long. I came on here to talk about something. If you don't deal with what's bothering you, it's going to come out you at some point. And you want it to come out you at a point where you got some type of control over your emotions. Because if not, you just bleed on other people. You know how they tell you hurt people? will hurt people. So let me tell y'all, when you mad about something, don't let that fester. Don't, don't let that sit on you. Because that's what destroys you on the inside. When you mad about something, and you, so check it out. When you mad about something, you can't do nothing because you mad. You be like mad. Like, just think about when you been real, real, real mad. And you can't even think straight. You just, ugh, like that. That's how you feel it. Just think about how your body feel on the inside. It be tensed up. You you wishing somebody would. I'm talking about sleeping with your fist balled up. You go to sleep, go to sleep mad. You sleeping with them fist balled up. If the wrong dream come, you swinging on everybody. Because you can't let that stuff stay inside, you see. And I'm learning that. Because today, I ain't spazz out. But I've been on the red page for like two days. But... It ain't really in no bad way. Don't get it twisted because I ain't mad about nothing. But sometimes, bro, I just get to thinking about stuff and think about how people try to play in my face. People that I've been real good to. People that I ain't give no problems to. Really be trying to play in my face for no reason at all. So sometimes it just get next to me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be sleeping with my fist balled up like they come over here with that. Right there, I'm going to show them what it is. But you can't leave that inside. You know what I'm saying? So I'm riding. I'm talking to God about it. Like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have, you know, spazzed out like that on her because she didn't deserve that. But she did some stuff too now. But she ain't deserve. And I really didn't go off. I was just expressing to somebody close to me that I don't appreciate how they be trying to handle me or how she handled me. But at the same time, she's not old enough to understand what is actually going on. So in that, I felt type, you know, some type of way, like maybe I shouldn't have gave it to her like that. You know what I'm saying? Because she's still a child. But at the same time, I'll just be wanting her to understand, like, everything ain't always what it seems. And sometimes we want to believe what come out of people's mouth, but sometimes y'all, they'll tell everything but the truth. You, you hear me? A lie don't care who tell it. So they'll just keep going and going and going. And that's one thing I can't stand is a liar because it's just so easy to say, look, this is what happened. You know what I'm saying? So it started getting next to me that they don't have that same type of caliber of people in this world. And I know a whole bunch of them. If, if y'all understood the things that I see, so many people live in delusion. And they'll be mad at you if you try to tell them, like, you know that ain't what that is, right? Do you see what this is? They get mad at you because they want to live in a delusion. You understand? But for a person that live in truth, y'all know how difficult that is to live in a world where people want to just lie all the time. And they want you to lie. And if you don't lie, then you the problem. Like, that's hard. <laughs> like, that's hard because you always feel like, you the unicorn, like, okay, nobody else gonna say that this messed up. Ain't nobody else see this. So then you start questioning yourself. So that brings on anger too. And you know what anger does to the body. All I'm saying to y'all is, if you feel a ways, you need to express that when you can have somewhat of control over expressing it. Because if you don't and you just let it pile up, y'all know what pressure do to pipes. It busts them all the time and you don't want it to bust on the wrong person. So if you hold stuff in, that's what's going to happen. And then that's how we end up in bad situations because we done held on to something for so long. Like, for me, some people done lied on me and they still lying and they ain't trying to tell the truth and they getting more people to continue to lie just to cover up one thing. And my mama used to tell me this all the time. You tell one lie, you got to tell another one. You got to tell another one. You got to keep telling lies to keep up with the first lie that you told. Now things done got all the way out of hand. But if I say something, then people looking upside my head like I'm the one that's tripping. When I'm the one that's telling the truth the whole time. 
You know what I'm saying? And then when you sit back and think about it's people that you've done so much for that betrayed you, that'll make anybody mad. But what I'm telling you is no matter how mad you get, don't hold on to that and don't give it to the wrong person. If you got to sit down and write it out, cry it out, talk to God, scream it out. You got to get that initial up out you. I love y'all for real. Peace. <laughs>